What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Grab a seat and strap in, cause we're about to have some fun. So I'm sure by now you've heard that we have entered what's known as phase two heightened alert. And Singaporeans everywhere are understandably freaking out because this is kind of similar to what we had last year in the form of a circuit breaker. So I thought why not check out some of those reactions today. But before we go any further, if you like my video so far, why not subscribe to my channel? I mean, it's real simple. Just press the big red button and best of all, it's free. I mean, Really, you don't have to. But it would be a lot cooler if you did. So today we're just going to take a look at a couple of TikToks reacting to the news about this Phase 2 heightened alert. But before we even jump into that, I've got some big updates since my last video on Singapore's top Karen from Hua Chong. Yes, I'm not kidding. So apparently people have been spotting her all over Singapore on trains and in shopping malls, continuing her mission of harassing anyone and everyone. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my video to get up to speed because the last time we left off on her story, she was still picking Twitter fights online. But since then, apparently people on TikTok have been spotting her at various places in public and they've been sharing clips of her online as if they're trying to hunt her down like some rare Pokemon. I don't know what's happening anymore, but let's just take a look at one of these clips of her being spotted on the train. I don't even talk to uh, Chinese rank and file like you, alright? So I can't be racist. If I don't talk to them, I'm not expected to be alright? Uh, why? You'll tickle my island. Oh my goodness. I mean, you cannot make this shit up. So she's again here spotted on the train, just talking to anyone who wants to listen and everyone around her has clearly ignored her. But bless whoever managed to record this because why is she still allowed to do this? I will never understand. This was actually part of a longer clip where she pulled out her phone, swiping through images like she was giving a PowerPoint presentation on the train, which on one hand is pretty respectable because it's a moving vehicle and trying to give a TED talk on that isn't easy. But also, who asked? I don't know why she put in all this effort to tell everyone about whoever her brother is and all that she needed to present because what was the reason? Clearly not much has changed since the last time she was spotted harassing people in public but in this next clip, you realise that she's taking it to a whole other level. When we met, I had no idea you'd become this important to me. So it looks like this Karen has now approached a group of police officers in a shopping mall and I think she might be giving them a presentation on her phone like what she did on the train. I have no idea. I have to say that the increased frequency of these Karen sightings is a little worrying because I'm not quite sure if any action is being taken against her. But I just hope that members of the public won't antagonize her or at least try to step in when necessary to make sure that she's not harassing any innocent bystanders. But you know what? That's not the focus of this video. I'm just gonna leave that story as it is. It's still a developing story at this point. But let's just check out some of the reactions to the phase 2 heightened alert right now. I'm staying in tonight, or RP my summer break! Okay, but why did he pat the uncle's head like that? That was an interesting choice. And I definitely empathize and sympathize with everyone going into summer break right now in the middle of all this because it's definitely a shitty situation. But if we could survive Circuit Breaker, I'm hoping that we'll do okay this time round. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Circuit Breaker cannot go out anymore. That was a 10 out of 10. Vocals, I'm not even gonna rate it, but everything, presentation, everything else, 10 out of 10. It feels like this entire phase 2 heightened alert thing is like a tell me it's circuit breaker without telling me it's circuit breaker kind of challenge, you know what I mean? But that's beside the point. You can still go out in pairs, but there's still a lot of restrictions around that. So you know what, I'm just gonna sit right here like I did last year and get comfortable this time around and try not to cry. Okay, the visuals and the soundtrack, that was top tier content. <laughs> I mean, we all kind of predicted that panic buying would happen again, and it did. I mean, everyone was flooding the supermarket trying to stock up on the same few essentials like we did last year, including toilet paper, Maggie Mee, and all sorts of other stuff. I mean, why have we not learned from last year? I don't know, because it's kind of like history repeating itself this time round. I mean, I get that people could have been panic buying because psychologically they kind of want to get some sort of control over this situation and the sudden change in the rules again. But really, everyone just gotta just sit down for a minute and calm their tits. Right at the bat, that wig is janky as hell. I mean, it definitely needs a glass of water. But the Maggie concept, I can definitely get behind because I'm pretty sure you guys remember this iconic photo of an auntie 
pushing an entire trolley filled to the brim with Maggie Me from last year. You know the photo I'm talking about. I don't know who this auntie is or where she is right now but I hope she's doing well because I'm pretty sure she's still eating from last year's stock of Maggie that she bought. I mean maybe she was also panic buying over last weekend, who knows. But that much MSG is definitely not going to be good for her. All those people saying that you might as well go into circuit breaker, why only two people can meet all this. If you single means you just shut up, please don't give them any ideas. Okay, as a person who's single but not available, I feel personally attacked. I mean, I'm fine with the restrictions of reducing the group size, but I think I still can't get over the fact that they're calling two people a group because I'm pretty sure the definition of that is still a pair. But you know what, we're not here to argue semantics because I'm just here trying to do my best to survive this panoramic and the second round of whatever this circuit breaker is. So sending thoughts and prayers to all my single folks out there. What will you do? <laughs> I just book my trip and keep my hopes high. Okay, so on the topic of this Hong Kong-Singapore travel bubble, I feel like at this point, it truly is a thing that should not be named because every time we've tried to restart it over the past year, and just as it's about to get off the ground, the bubble pops. I can't deal with that anymore. It's just too much. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I can handle getting my hopes crushed again because it's way too unpredictable at this point. So maybe we should put this bubble thing out of sight, out of mind, until at least we get things under control here. But if you guys out there know anyone who's still holding on to their tickets and still believes in the hype, leave an F in the comments below for them. Damn, what is that, bro? <laughs> I'm not quite sure if NSFs can work from home like this because I'm pretty sure you can't do field cam over Zoom. But I do get the frustration because it's definitely going to be very disruptive for their training like it was last year. So I just hope they're all training safe because I truly can't imagine going through their entire experience with a mask on because that's going to be intense. So I just heard the news about the new Singapore COVID rules and regulations. Okay, I'm just going to pause right there because I definitely remember this guy. I'm not sure if you recall, but I did a video about his haunted TikToks last year. So I definitely want to hear what this value dollar Nas Daily has to say. Coming down from hanging out in groups of five to groups of two. And all dining is suspended for uh, in-person dining. Uh, and you can only do takeaway. I know the rules that he's talking about aren't new, but I'm still trying to process what he's trying to say because the volume in this TikTok is astronomical. I mean, here I thought he just put on a loud voice for his TikToks, but apparently he does that for daily conversation as well. So that's a lot. What is this? This is basically circuit breaker, but you know, you can hang out with one person. So we're basically just going back to circuit breaker and plus work should be done remotely starting May 16th. So this is basically circuit breaker. I'm kind of frustrated, but Singapore's taking amazing measures. Safe, stay safe out there. I mean, I definitely agree with the frustration part. He didn't lie there, but are we really doing a good job though? That's the real question. I would like to have that conversation. So there's a lot going on here. Firstly, this woman is openly drinking on board a bus where eating and drinking is not allowed. And she's also talking on her phone. I mean, is it really that important to be talking right now? Because unless you're dealing with the stock market or closing a big business deal, I don't see the need to be talking on the phone and drinking without a mask because she's clearly spreading particles like that like nobody's business and honestly I do not like it at all. She clearly woke up today and chose violence. You know as much as I would like to sit here and say that if I spotted someone like that in public I would go up to confront them to do the right thing, I think that's definitely easier said than done but maybe what could possibly work is to use a gentle approach to remind them about what they should be doing in public right now because this is clearly some selfish ass behaviour and we should not be standing up for that. Sad to say, but that was straight facts. No printer, copy, no translate. Birthday, no more. Hotel, Trivago. Shout out to all the Geminis in the chat because you guys are definitely going to go through it this month, so sending thoughts and prayers. Now it's time for one last one. Not the Dalgona coffee. This is giving me wartime flashbacks to last year when everyone was making Dalgona coffee and sourdough bread because those were some dark times. Thankfully, I was never swept up by the craze, so I'm proud to say that I've not made a single cup of Dalgona or any sourdough bread at all. 
but that might change in the next few weeks so we'll just wait and see so i guess that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and please remember to stay safe over the next couple of weeks don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what i should react to next and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye yolo say no no yolo yolo you only live once